new trailer for anticipated sequel Joker Folie a Deux was released yesterday and that kicks off our Hot Topics for today brought to you by Walton Art Center. So the new film stars Joaquin Phoenix Joaquin. Joaquin, once again in his Oscar winning dual role as Arthur Fleck in the Joker opposite Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. I'm so excited. So the film finds Arthur institutionalized at Arkham waiting trial for his crimes as the Joker when he suddenly finds true love but also the music that's always been inside him. Yeah. The film will be featured at the Venice Film Festival this year and that runs from August 18th through September 7th and it will be in theaters October 4th. I'm so excited. Oh man, I love I love all things Batman uh, and uh, you know Joker is definitely a huge part of the Batman franchise. I'm excited. Joaquin's so great. You He's know. amazing. And I just re-watched Gladiator, the original in anticipation of the sequel that's coming oh, yeah, out soon uh -huh. and his role in that you know, it's just so iconic. He's good so. in so in everything. I know and I wonder how much music is going to be in this because when they first talked about this movie they were even pitching it as a musical. I didn't that. Yeah, but Ooh. I just wonder if it's going to be a movie with music. I mean, you've got Lady Gaga in it, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, there. definitely looking forward to it. Here's some scary news. <laughs> uh, you may have seen this one. A hydrothermal explosion violently shook part mm -hmm. of Yellowstone National Park's Biscuit Basin yesterday, damaging a boardwalk as several park guests ran to safety. The explosion occurred at the Biscuit Basin thermal area around 10 o'clock a.m. local time appearing to originate near the Black Diamond Pool. Mm -hmm. Biscuit Basin, as well as its boardwalks and parking lots, are closed right now for visitor safety as park geologists investigate what actually occurred. Now, thankfully, volcanic activity for the Yellowstone region remains at normal levels, and there were no immediate injuries reported, so uh, that's good news. But man, big explosion yes. yesterday Can happened. Can you imagine just I, being there for a vacation yeah, and then boom? There were several tourists that yes. were standing very close to it from what I saw on yeah. social media. Really so. glad everyone's okay. Same, yeah. Well, on a lighter note, Gordon Ramsay's youngest daughter, Tilly, has graduated Aww. from university. So yesterday, Chef Ramsay shared that his daughter graduated from the University of Nottingham with a degree in psychology. So he announced this big milestone on Instagram. Instagram and he wrote she's done it can't explain enough how proud we are of this one and he continued by saying to see you graduate today with a psychology degree makes me the happiest dad in the world so congratulations to Tilly yeah congrats Tilly maybe she can use that psych degree to tone her dad down a little <laughs> I bit I don't think it'll work yeah I don't think <laughs> I don't, it'll work I'm not a chance <laughs> oh I know well I was just talking about how excited I am about the Batman mm -hmm. universe check this out director Matt Reeves has unveiled his plans for the expanding Batman epic crime saga. So his, I remember his 2022 Batman movie thrilled fans worldwide. Now he's taking Gotham City to the small screen with the new HBO series called The Penguin, featuring, you can hardly recognize Colin Farrell right there, but featuring Colin Farrell. And according to the showrunner, Lauren LaFranc, it's a sacrifice rise to power, uh, sorry, it's a Scarface rise to power story of Oswald Cobblepot as he becomes one of Batman's most dangerous foes. The show serves as a bridge between the Batman movie and the eventual sequel. I did read where it's taking place just a few weeks after that original movie, yeah. 2022, and it will lead up to only a few days before what's planned to be the sequel movie. I'm so. really excited for this. I really enjoyed the Batman that yeah, they, that they did, did. And uh, yeah, it's, it's I'm just looking forward yeah, to it. Yeah, the Penguin is going to premiere in September. You don't have to wait long. That's coming out Ooh, on Max. That is so exciting. Right. Well, tennis star Coco Golf will join LeBron James yes. as flag bearer for the U.S. Olympic team at Friday's opening ceremony. So Goff is the reigning U.S. Open champion, and she's set to make her Olympic debut and will be the first tennis athlete to carry the U.S. flag. So she and James were chosen by Team USA Athletes. What an honor. Yeah, huge honor. You know, we're all systems go here, obviously, at KNWA for the yes. Olympics. But, yeah, it, there was a little bit of uh, – it, it took a little bit of time to have yeah. Coco Goff's name released. Right. LeBron James was announced kind of earlier this week and we were all waiting to see who w was going to be his colleague joining him as a flag bearer it was supposed to come out yesterday i believe yeah it was Dropped today though now we know coco goff's going to go do it supporting and uh representing team usa at the opening ceremony what an honor i can't